Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. If you are new here, welcome and consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell notification below. Quiet people are the first to recognize that they are frequently misunderstood. They can come off as shy or reticent since they are frequently more imaginative and perceptive to their environment than their more extroverted colleagues. But don't be misled by that. Conversely, some quiet persons actually thrive in social situations. Before engaging in a conversation or activity, quiet folks simply enjoy to observe. They are more sensitive to the world around them. People who are quiet tend to be more perceptive than others. They are more likely to be aware of their surroundings and to notice details that others miss. They also have a propensity to pay attention to minute details, which aids in their ability to comprehend others and make wiser decisions in daily life. The fact that quiet people pay greater attention to how their bodies feel when something occurs or changes around them rather than focusing on external stimuli like music or sound levels at work is another intriguing aspect about them. As a result, those who struggle to focus due to ongoing interruptions should seek out quiet people, e.g., loud music. They are more creative. That quiet people are more likely to be artists, musicians, and writers may come as a surprise to you. In fact, a number of studies have found that introverts frequently exhibit higher levels of creativity than extroverts. They prefer to think more deeply before speaking and writing, which explains this. Since they spend more time observing things than engaging in interactions with others, they also have a deeper understanding of the world around them. Quiet types are good at problem solving because they don't normally make small talk with others to get along with them, making them innovative thinkers as well instead than participating in debates about politics or current events they favor engaging in their own activities which tend not only to make listening difficult but also involve too much talking they prefer one on one conversations rather than large groups of people it goes without saying that reserved individuals dislike small chat instead of just making sure they fit in they are more concerned in the content of a conversation they may find it challenging to get along with those who like to talk only about themselves or their personal interests as a result. Individual interactions, as opposed to huge gatherings of people, are typically preferred by quiet persons. They will probably respond, I don't like being the center of attention, when you ask them how they feel about a group activity. They typically do not love being in control or leading others and feel more at ease in smaller groups. Additionally, they enjoy hearing more than speaking, which makes for interesting conversations when you're conversing with someone who enjoys both listening and speaking. They learn differently. While most individuals prefer to learn by interacting and having conversations, silent people prefer to learn by simply paying attention to everything. The talent of observation involves the observer, or, in this example, the silent person, to evaluate a subject or circumstance based on appearances, mannerisms, and other cues. Imagine meeting a new person and attempting to understand as much about them as you can just by looking at their appearance, mannerisms, and level of eye contact. People who are quiet have perfected this capacity for awareness of their environment. A fact, this approach to learning falls short of providing a whole picture. When a quiet person feels the urge to learn more about a person or a situation, they will finally speak up. Quiet people aren't rude. The stereotype that quiet individuals are impolite is frequently incorrect. Introverts, who are often quiet and hesitant when they meet new people, are more likely to experience this. But just because their opinions aren't as clear doesn't imply they're being impolite. People differ from their more extroverted peers in terms of their interpersonal styles. It's possible that reserved individuals are simply taking their time to get to know you better before engaging in additional dialogue. Quiet people take speaking seriously. Quiet folks hold their tongue and deliberate before speaking. This can be as a result of a past incident in which they spoke the incorrect thing at the incorrect moment, perhaps even to the incorrect person. In addition to being more selective about when and what they say, silent people have different ideas about what speaking actually entails than noisy ones. By being more open with their sharing, the latter may be able to connect with others better than silent persons. They are curious about you. Quiet introverts prefer to hear all about the other person rather than boasting about themselves. 
naturally curious about others, particularly their sources of inspiration and mental and emotional processes, are quiet individuals. This explains why they consistently seem to prefer listening to talking. This is another reason why silent people are so admirable. How frequently do you come across somebody who will actually focus on you and listen intently to everything you have to say? They tend to do well in leadership roles, think Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln was rumored to be a quiet man, but did you know that he was also a capable leader? He was gifted in speaking, writing, and listening. He was a good listener because he didn't talk over or interrupt people and instead allowed them finish speaking before responding. His essay writing abilities were very outstanding, as seen by the numerous writings that he published throughout his life and in which he discussed politics and other topics, including one about how people in power should be humble. Let's simply state that while there are plenty of historical examples of persons with little formal education being able to stand up in front of crowds and have an impact on their listeners' lives like Abraham Lincoln, some people may not be able to talk eloquently under pressure. Quiet people don't necessarily want to be alone. Quiet people may prefer to remain to themselves or stick with a smaller group of people, but it does not mean they always want to be by themselves. For example, introverts use their daily alone time to refuel their social batteries before meeting up with people whose company they actually love. Quiet people aren't depressed. Surely someone who is quiet and lonely must be depressed. Contrary to popular belief, many reserved people are actually very content with their lives. When they decline invites to go out or remain in the background of social gatherings to observe conversations, it could appear as though they are depressed or withdrawing. Because they actually love associating with others without having much to say, quiet people have a particular kind of sociability. They are not loners. Due to their tendency to avoid conversation, quiet persons could also be thought of as loners. Quiet people, in actuality, enjoy their own company and only socialize when they want to don't worry if your pal seems a little more reserved than normal they might simply be preoccupied with their interests and pastimes for the time being and they'll drop by when they feel like it they don't tolerate disrespect someone's silence does not imply that they will put up with any sort of disrespect or mistreatment some extroverted people might mistakenly believe that quiet introverts are readily influenced although this is untrue Due to their strong sense of integrity and self-worth, quiet people don't feel the need to talk constantly. It's essential not to undervalue someone because they just speak a few words because they will undoubtedly speak up when necessary. Since we are social beings that are interested in learning more about other people, it makes only sense that many people are curious about silent people. They are slow to anger, but when they get there, watch out. Although they are less prone to lose their temper or become agitated easily, quiet people are more likely to be thoughtful and sensitive. Since they aren't accustomed to expressing their feelings in public or in front of other people, they may first struggle to do so. This may give them a cold or indifferent appearance, but don't be fooled by that. When it's time for an apology or an explanation, quiet folks can be patient. Introverts simply take longer than extroverts do to make amends when a disagreement has happened between two parties or even just one. They can come across as shy, but they're just observing before they jump in. Contrary to popular belief, quiet people are not bashful. They may appear timid, but they are simply waiting to take the initiative while they are watching. Quiet people tend to be more sensitive and creative than the ordinary person, and they are more likely to be introverts than extroverts. They also frequently have a reserved demeanor and don't enjoy mingling much unless it's required for work or education. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.